Hi guys, uh, so this is the sheet uh, that many of you have been asking for uh, and I will uh, share the link in the YouTube description and you can then uh, find it on Google Sheets and you can just make a copy and continue to work on it uh, yourself. And uh, here is a short explanation how the sheet works. So yeah, most important is to set your own variables when you want to buy uh, uh, and, um, and for how much. Uh, for me, like I decided that I want to go to a majority at minus 35% undervaluation. Um, and for me, a majority is 51%, but you can change that. Uh, you can set this higher or lower in this too. Uh, but I think that's the wise strategy. You can just read when you click on it why I think that's a good idea. Um, and then you also have to set your uh, maximum exposure um, and at what point. Um, but for me, my maximum exposure is 80%, but you can send that to 100%. For example, if, if this is not in a relation to your total portfolio, for example, but if for you it's in relation to the amount of money you want to invest in crypto, then you probably want to put that at 100%. Uh, and then the point where you want to do that I set this at a correction that I estimate to be probable, and that's minus 73% correction from the high, from the top of the rebound, that was 8,900. I think that's most probable to happen. So about 2,400 US dollars. And, um, but you can change that, but in this sheet, you can only change it here. You could say like, mm, because what's yellow, what's bright yellow, you can change and all the parameters will change. But all the other things, like white is just formulas, huh? so don't touch that. But matte yellow is, yeah, something I did that you can also change, but you have to change then. Um, uh, you can also change it, but uh, not, I, you have to look better. Uh, this, this you can change easily. So you could say, no, actually I estimate the bottom to be for example, 1,800 and change it here to an undervaluation of, say, uh, minus 78. What will that give? 1,900. Eh? So, so, so that way, all, everything else changes. And you can also see immediately the equivalent in the other prices. So how do I come to the other prices uh, for Bitcoin, BCH, and Ethereum? Well, I use um, just simple formula that in the bear market, they have corrected more than Bitcoin BTC. If you count from the top uh, in January 2018, uh, Bitcoin BCH corrected from the top to the bottom up until today uh, uh, to $75. Whereas Bitcoin B uh, BTC corrected from almost 20K to the bottom up until the day of 3,050. But if you look like how much more did Bitcoin BCH correct compared to Bitcoin uh, BTC, it's 16%. And for Ethereum, it corrected 12% more. Um, and I use these same numbers uh, to deduct and uh, to, co to, to, to come to an idea how much will be the prices of BCH and Ethereum. If Bitcoin corrects to say uh, this price here, uh, then um, if you just add 16 more, 16% 16 more, then BCH will likely go to this price. Um, and these values, you can always see in the formula, are counting from the uh, intermediate uh, top that we've seen here, the top of the rebound. These prices are used to calculate that. Um, this you can set uh, any amount um, for portfolio value. For example, uh, if you set 100K, uh, then uh, you can see how much, um, well, you can change these things of today. So this you will always have to update yourself uh, to see uh, what the situation is of today, uh, to see how much undervaluation there is. You change these numbers um, right here. Uh, and these numbers too, these are all yellow. You can change that, the amount of coins in circulation. Um, and also the amount of crypto exposure you currently have, you also change that. And then you will see a simulation uh, based on how much you fill in here. 
what will happen with your portfolio if you do all these steps, all these buy-in steps. But you can disable some. If you just put it to zero, you will skip this step and immediately go to this step. But for example, with 100K, uh, my exposure currently is 46%, but that will be different from you. But that means currently I have the, like this amount invest in crypto and this amount in Tesla. I have also indeed invested all my cash in Tesla uh, as of yesterday. So that's my situation. But if crypto corrects to a new high in undervaluation, I, I think this is the most probable scenario because it happened in previous bear markets always also that we would go to a new high. The, the previous high was minus 50%. But I think uh, it's quite probable, very probable that we will see a new high in undervaluation. But when that is, we don't know. And at what point uh, valuation, the log trend line, trend line will be, we also don't know. So this will, you will have to change. But this can stay pretty fixed, in my opinion, because it's very likely we will hit that. Um, but of course, if it's much later than this, then these values will turn out to be higher and these prices will turn out to be higher. But if it would be like by August, that's in one, two months, then uh, these would be the valuations. And, um, and my plan is to do a first investment then. And since I want to be 80% invested at minus 80% under valuation, the formula deducts that. That means I want to be 63% invested if you have this kind of undervaluation. And so that means that here I will buy, in my case, PCH huh? currently with this amount of money, I would have this amount of coins under 16 but I will then buy another 140 and the total will be 260. That's my first step. Um, and I will have to sell about half my Tesla for that. Hmm? Um, and, and that's how it works. Uh, and then uh, the next steps. I think it's smart to have these three steps. Sometimes I often change my mind, but um, uh, uh, yeah, it's very important to invest in crypto. Uh, if we get another correction, because the potential reward is very high, uh, at least if you invest in Bitcoin, BCH and Ethereum, uh, these are 100x uh, potentials, um, not Bitcoin BTC. I think this is not a good investment anymore. You can better invest in Tesla, for example, there's a higher potential reward, in my opinion, than Bitcoin BTC, simply because uh, Bitcoin is, of course, in BTC is, is a market leader in the right sector, crypto. but it's, uh, it's really not doing well in uh, adoption because you're sabotaging the system with the transaction fees of a couple of dollars. Uh, you can't use it as money, um, at least not for small transactions. That's ridiculous. Uh, so, so that's why uh, these potential rewards, yes, Bitcoin BTC will very likely hit 100K, but that's only a 19X uh, multiplier. Uh, like. Uh, and the risk is, is is still high. Yes, it's likely to happen, but you're still uh, uh, investing in something with poor fundamentals. It is, I think, more risky, uh, even though it's likely to happen. So there is no margin of safety here. Uh, I really recommend to to choose one of these or another co other anything else in crypto is better than Bitcoin BTC, in my opinion. Huh? Uh, 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 Bitcoin BTC is very very highly valued today. Uh, it has a market cap of 55% of the industry. It is so probable, extremely probable. It will only go down over time. Now it has gone up during this bear market, uh, but actually we're in the middle of the bear market likely. And this is also an important parameter. Um, uh, you have to choose this. Uh, I choose a, a declining uh, market cap, uh, a declining dominance for Bitcoin as the bear market progresses, simply because it happened also in the previous a bear market, uh, uh, you can see the explanation here, but uh, basically uh, it was only till the middle of 2014 that uh, Bitcoin uh, gained dominance. After that, it went down, uh, even though the bear market continued. So this is also part an important parameter that I think is set correctly. Um, but that does mean that there is a contradiction here because Bitcoin is going down in dominance and these coins are also going down in dominance. So who is going up in dominance? Uh, that's the big question. And actually in the previous bear market, it was Ripple uh, that uh, at the end of the bear market went up a lot. And that caused actually Bitcoin dominance to go down at the end of the bear market. Um, but I suspect that today it might be more than Ripple. It might be also leading coins like Ethereum or Bitcoin BCH. 
uh, that may uh, may actually uh, that, that that may actually um, correct less and so actually be at a higher dominance here than um, than 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 is here uh, predicted. Um, so so yeah, uh, if you want to change that, you will have to change. Basically, you can simply change this parameter, but that would be uh, changing history. <laughs> How much did they lose? Because it depends on that uh, compared to Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, it was only Ripple, and I, I personally think that, that 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 Ripple is an exception to the industry. It's not so much cryptocurrency because um, well, because of how it's operating, but also the investment public for that is very different. It's more like banks, and and so I think that's why it's not so. You see it you often also pumping independent from what other cryptos do. So personally, I do think that, that it is quite probable that uh, as we've seen in the past, actually, uh, this was the previous low. Um, and uh, and indeed, um, um, at this low, uh, both of them lost market share. Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin Cash lost a lot of market share eh, at the peak. 16%, Ethereum went to 8%, at the peak 7%, BCH went to 1%, so, so, so a massive loss in market share. So I think actually this is likely to happen again uh, if we go to a new low, albeit not that strong as before. Huh? Um, so voila, um, I hope you enjoyed the sheet. I wish you good luck. Uh, maybe uh, post uh, an, as, a, as a reply, as a comment on this YouTube video in the future if you've created uh, uh, some great updates to the sheet just share your sheet also and then um, and then others can also uh, click that link and can um, uh, also uh, work on your sheet continue to work on your sheet that would be cool or just send it to me via telegram the link uh, that would be nice thanks so much for watching and have a great day